Well, hello guys, how are you doing? I hope everyone had a happy fourth. Um, so I'm super excited. Jesus wants us to do a live again. Um, we've, God's amazing. <laughs> I He's like been teaching us so many things, you know, like about like the 12 tribes and the first apostles and how they like lined up in certain tribes and the gems, like so many things, even how the Maseroth lines up with like the shape of the world, every like the universe, you know, everyone always says it's flat or it's round or anything like that. Well, I really think you're about to, your mind is about to be blown <laughs> because the stuff that the Lord has been giving me is literally like so over my head. It's scientific, it's mathematical, and it is like quantum physics. I don't even know what this stuff is, guys, okay? I know it's not me. I know it's Jesus. Um, Jess, literally, I was I was sending her some words that the Lord gave me. And he's like tying it. She's just like, whoa, he's talking about gravity. And he's talking about like the magnetic force. And um, it has something to do with the whirlwind rapture for Enoch. It has something to do with the hourglass. Um, guys. It's amazing. Okay, I can't even I can't even explain it right now. Okay, so we are going to go live and the Lord so he came over to me the other day and he said I want you to go live at 3 p.m. on July 12th. So, we're going to go live at 3 p.m. on July 12th and we are going to literally talk about everything that we have all discovered and found. Because, you know, like I said, the Lord has no favorites. I want to share all the revelations with you guys because I know you guys are waiting on Jesus just as much as we are, and we're just so excited, and we know it's soon. We don't know when, but we know it's soon, and we are getting more revelation with the ninth hour and everything with the blanket and the covering of grace. It's a lot, <laughs> but um, I'm just so grateful and thankful of Jesus. You know, he, I can't even, it's like, he's so amazing. The stuff that he's revealing, he's so romantic and sweet and such a beautiful Messiah. Goodness. Oh, I wish if you don't know him, guys, if you truly look at Jesus, like he's nothing but strict and laws and all that stuff, you're missing Jesus. He is so beautiful in so many different ways. And if you literally pray to him every day, if you pour your heart out to him, if you read his word, but you pray and ask him for understanding, because his word is literally alive. It is alive. The stuff that is unfolding right now, it's in his word, but he's giving so many revelations. And even in the message today, talked about how the more and more you are confiding in him and spiritually and just becoming one of his followers, He's going to give you more revelations. It's in his word. He says a lot more is going to be revealed to you. So I'm just so excited. You know, like what an awesome God we have. Um, Jesus, I love you so much. He's my Lord and Savior, my Messiah. He came to earth in the flesh. He bled on the cross. He died for our sins. He rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. I'm sorry. I'm so excited because like literally... I've done nothing but the last six months um, except for pour out my soul to Jesus every day. And he has just been speaking and pouring his soul out to me. And like, not just me, lots of other people, it says in his word, and I think it's Acts 2.17, he's going to pour out his spirit on all flesh. Women and men will prophesy, dream dreams, have visions. All of that is happening right now. This is why so many people are getting so many revelations. And um, everything he's teaching me, literally the Maseroth, the numbers, how it all lines up with February 15th, the Midnight Cry, May 22nd, which mirrors that. And Jess can explain all that because that goes over my head. And um, the June 17th, the spirit leaving, giving, uh, asking for new, um, or getting your glorious heavenly bodies ready, your new wineskins. How long does a flower take the bloom? 
I mean, <clears throat> he gave me that message on May 2nd. How long does it take the flower to bloom? Okay. Just saying. Um, he's given me so many messages since December 30th. And I know there's a lot of people who say it's not Jesus. Guys, don't put Jesus in a box. I am telling you, I know 1,000 million percent it is Jesus. I test everything. The Lord literally gives me scriptures to back up everything. Um, he literally just always confirms something in the message of the day and the song I'm listening to, everything. So he literally, um, and the thing is, is I'm leading people to Christ. So, you know, I've been studying that because people are saying divination spirit and Kundalini, all this stuff. Yes, all of that is rampant in the new age and the new what Christians you know, the chakra, getting your chakra. The Lord spoke that to me the other day. It's literally leading into that. It's like taking spirits from, and he called it sacra, which is another word for hell, and I didn't know that. It, guys, it is bad. All that new age, witchcraft, sorcery, yoga, kundalini spirit, it is all bad. And it is literally like, it is just creating so many demonic um, divination and, and all that stuff. But the thing is a divination spirit is not going to lead you to Jesus. Okay. Um, a divination spirit is not going to help you lay down sins in your life. A divination spirit doesn't teach people the true gospel of faith and grace. And I just read it in the, uh, you are blessed. You're saved by your faith. Guys, it is not that complicated. Yes, you follow his commandments because you love him, but it's not something that you're doing to try. You're doing it because you please, you want to please Jesus. But it's it's like, you know, I hear so many people, oh, you sin, you you have to repent all day long. Da, da, da. God is not like that. You have to get out of that mindset, that worker bee mindset, because that is literally the Sardis church and the Laodicea one is the lukewarm okay you want to be in the Philadelphia church that is the people who truly believe and trust in Jesus 100 percent and I know you don't believe it but Jesus is coming and there is lots of evidence in the Bible of a preacher rapture I've seen it so many times Revelation 12 talks about it John or I always say John but in Revelation 4 1 through 2 literally symbolizes it. It is symbolized all over the Bible. If you just ask Jesus. <sighs> okay. So he put us together with, put me together with 11 other people. And we're going to do the live July 12th at 3 PM, like he instructed. And we're going to go over everything that he's giving us. Um, so of course I include myself, one of the 12 he gave, um, Jess, is Jesus Saves 2747. She's on YouTube, not on TikTok. Um, Cassie from Faith Over Fear 44 is on YouTube as well, not on TikTok. Um, McKenna is on both TikTok as Holistic McMama and um, McKenna McGee um, on YouTube. And Sean is Honey from the Lion on TikTok and YouTube, I believe. Anya is his wife, and she is on, she's also a prophet, she is Kind Words, and she has a number, I think it's Kind Words 44 maybe, I'm not sure, I'll have to look, look that up, and I'll put it in the description. She's on YouTube and TikTok, and Alethea is on TikTok, I'm not sure if she's on YouTube, um, but she gets visions and dreams and stuff from Jesus and Revelation. Um, Amy Tuggle, she's been called to share the gospel in the group, and she's the one who kind of pointed us into Jesus's birthday direction. Jiri, he's another one that shares the gospel, and he's kind of like our military guy in the group. He helps the group, you know, get focused and, and uniformed and all that stuff. Um, Brandy, Brandy Taylor, she's on TikTok. I don't know if she's on YouTube. But she gets stuff from the Lord also and shares. She's also called to share the messages. And Melissa, our last one that recently the Lord called upon me. He said, 3 p.m. wind girl. <laughs> Melissa, is her, her tagline is uh, a voice of calling, I believe, on just on YouTube. And I think she has a TikTok too. Okay, thanks. I hope you guys are doing well. And 
ignore the people trying to impersonate me on YouTube. They're getting really good at it. They're literally doing like a whole message pretending to be me responding in comments about faith. And then at the very end, they talk about their orphanage. That's not me, guys. Always look at the subscribers and you can see. Okay, I'm excited. I'll see you 3 p.m. July 12th on YouTube at Seek Heavenly Things. God bless.